And with a few minutes finagling, it wasn't too bad at all. I had to pull the duct off, which is really great having that uh, snapper uh, twist off connector there. And uh, this was relatively easy to fit overall. It does sag a little in the middle. Whether I'll actually uh, have to brace that or not, I don't know. I could always put some one by ones here or there radiating outward. What's it like with airflow on? doesn't get pulled down too much. It's definitely the most air over the middle here, of course, but I am feeling it elsewhere. So yeah, to help out, uh, I'll definitely have to put some little one-by-ones underneath, probably in the middle. Try this on full. Yeah, so a little bounciness when it's not full on. It's not hitting the floor, but it is close, so definitely some one-by-ones in here. I don't need to do that. Maybe I'll do that today. We'll see. Depends on if I have any around. So, let's undo this. And so with that, I hereby christen the Paint Booth 1. Begun July 5th, 2014. Finished this day, August 22nd, 2014. I do have to find a place to store the airbrush when I'm not using it. The blower itself is really nice and quiet. There's not a lot of vibration. I'll have another smoke test or two going on at some point just to see where all the strong spots are in this thing. I have to get. What I may do is spray paint the back of this black so that you can see what's going on. And then I would just put black uh, poster board around the walls because there's no airflow going through those. So with that, I am ready to commence operations. Just as the airbrush finishes. I'll have an inaugural painting at some point. It will not be today or too soon. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Like I said, there might be one or two more follow-ups, but I don't know if they'll be too soon. Uh, all told, like I said, July 5th to August 20th is really when I finished it up. So that's uh, quite a few days right there. And in some total, somewhere over $500, maybe $600 right about there, once I include yeah, you know, 60, 70 bucks just for the plexiglass alone. The magnets were another 15 bucks. And all the little costs that add up along the way. The second duct, that was another expense. But whether the two of these are cheaper than one six or eight inch duct would have been, don't know. So as mentioned, there are upgrades for version two and I'll have a list of those at some point. As I find them, I already know, have a uh, short list of what's wrong with everything that needs to be done. But I'm sure as I use this, I'll come up with some other ideas too. So for final measurements, the exterior of the booth is 39.4 inches wide by 30.25 tall and 26.5 deep. Internally, I missed by half an inch, 35.5 inches. I had not considered 
the depth of the pegboard at a quarter inch each. So there's a half inch gone right there. 25 inches tall with the ceiling lamp and plus 3 inches with the basement if you wanted to include that and 25 inches deep. Basically I could fit a fully built 1 350th US Enterprise uh, refit in here just barely. In fact I could fit just about any 1 350th size model that I have in mind. But first up it's going to be the Jupiter 2. Alright, so I hope you found this at least enjoyable, if not actually informative, uh, for your own decision to maybe build a paint booth. I know you could buy a lot of them out there for three or four hundred bucks and get a small little thing. But for me, this was really the way to go. And at five to six hundred bucks, it's a little more than I budgeted for, but health-wise, uh, safety-wise, uh, options-wise, really, I did the best thing that I possibly could, and there's very little I can do to do better or improve it or wish I had done something different because this is going to be a great base to modify off of. So thanks for watching. There's going to be a lot of great models coming up that are going to get uh, the paint job in this little baby here and I'm really looking forward to it and I think this is really going to step up my overall game as well. So thanks for watching. See ya.